Okay, so you want to create a Google form. So you've got to be logged into Google to do this. Once you are, just click up on this Google Apps button, scroll down this list, choose Forms from the list. So then you want to click on Blank Form, give the form a name. So this is going to be a registration form for courses. Now the form will adopt this name once you click up here where it says Untitled Form. You can see now this is actually called Course Registration. Now you can add a description to the form if you want to. And then you need to start listing your questions. So the first thing I'm going to ask for is a first name. So I just click into that little box where it says Untitled Question and I'm going to type first name and you need to specify what type of question this is and basically this is just a short answer so then you add your next question you can do that by clicking on this button add question and I'm obviously going to ask for the last name and that is also a short answer it's actually chosen that for me automatically and then I'm going to ask for the date of birth so I'm going to add a question date of birth and it's automatically chosen date for me there. If it hasn't done that, you can see that option down at the bottom of the list. And then I'm going to ask for a telephone number, which again is a short answer. Next, I'm going to ask them to upload some form of ID. So I'm going to add a question. And this type of question is a file upload question. And I'm going to click on continue here. Please upload a copy of your driving license. And you can specify file types that are allowable. So I'm going to say a PDF or a document is allowable. You can also do things like specify a maximum file size. So then I'm going to add a, another question. And this is going to ask what location would this person like to attend the course at? And you can see it's already specified multiple choice there. If it doesn't do that for you, then you'll find multiple choice there. That's exactly what I want. So option one is going to be London, then Birmingham, and I'll just go through the other locations. So I'm going to add another question. Which courses are you interested in? Now I'm going to go for check boxes here and it's automatically chosen that for me. But if it doesn't for you, then you've got check boxes as an option there. So Excel 365, Google Sheets, and Excel VBA. But what I'm going to do is add this option, add other, and that's basically free text there where they can specify another course that they might be interested in. Then I'm going to add another question. What is your current knowledge in this subject area? And for this, I'm going to select linear scale. So you've got one to five. You can change that to another number. So one is going to be no knowledge. And five is going to be genius. I'm going to add another question. Course funding. And this is going to be a drop down. So I'll select drop down here. Self funded. employer funded and government funded. Okay, so that's the end of my questions. Now, the next thing I want to do is add sections. So the questions about the individual are going to be in one section and questions about the course are going to be in another section. Now, if I want the section to start here with first name, what I do is I click into the area above 
that question. So I'd click up into the title area and then I'd select this button, add section. Now it does make two sections, but don't worry about that. This section here is going to be called personal details. Then I'm going to scroll down and I want the next section to start here with what location do you want to attend? So I click into the question above and I add a section and I'm going to type course details. It's the heading for that section. So let's talk about the formatting of the form. You can either stick with the color scheme that it gives you, or you can click on this button here, customize theme. And you can choose a different font for different parts of your form. You've got header, you've got questions, and you've got text. You can also change the font size. Now you can choose a header for your image. You don't have to do this, but if you want to, you can go to choose image. You've either got these inbuilt images or you can upload your own, or you can go to photos, which would be the photos in Google Photos, your photos. So for us, let's just choose something basic. Let's go for that one and insert. And what it does is it kind of matches the color scheme to the image, but you can change the colors down here if you want to. Now, if we go up here to responses, this will eventually list all the responses we've had to our form. So we can look at that later. But if we go to settings, we've got a number of options here that we need to look at. If I expand this responses section about collecting email addresses from respondents, if you choose verified, then respondents will need to be signed into Google. If you choose responder input, then the respondent has to provide an email address when they fill in the form. Send responders a copy of their response. You can turn that on or off, always or when requested. Allow response editing. So responses can be changed after being submitted. You can turn that on. And there are various other options there. Now, once you've gone through all that, if you want to preview your form, all you need to do is click on this little preview button. So you can see here that it is asking for an email address. And the reason I can't see all the questions is because I specified those sections. So if I go to next, it's going to give me the personal details section. You can see here that I have to upload a file, a copy of my driving license. So I can browse for a file. And then I have to go to next to go to the next section. I can specify my location, which course I want to attend, and my current subject area knowledge. And then I can specify the course funding. So then I would click on submit. Now, if you click on submit whilst you're in preview mode, it will actually count as a response. So we won't do that. But once you are ready to send out the form, you'd click on this send button. And you can see you can send it by email send it by link or you can use this embed HTML option to embed into a web page. You cannot do that in this instance because we are using a file upload question. So let's choose this send via email option. All I would need to do is put in an email address, subject line course registration, that'll be fine. And then you can put in your own message. Once you've done that, just click on send. One thing to note when you're doing this is you can obviously put in multiple email addresses. You don't have to do this one email address at a time. Now, once people start responding to your form, you can go to the responses tab up here, and that will show all the responses that you've currently received from your form. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.